on, buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be here when stuff happens because here we are back again with another episode of Satisfactory. In case you didn't hear the beginning part, this is still the beginning part, but it's part of, you know, it's after the beginning part. Anyway, we're here and I've been doing some work. As you can see here, I'll show you my screen. Uh, we have six and a half hours played uh so far and it's the second episode but i didn't build a lot of things i got just a little bit more stuff going on uh we're getting a little bit of a backup here because i went ahead and threw down another miner over here it's just i'd rather have it backed up and producing like this than not at all just trying to get basic mats together to do stuff as you can see we got some plates here we have some more rods here and then over there i threw down a little bit of a, a nice little wire factory just nothing major just to get some stuff the basic mats coming together so i don't have to sit there and look at the craft button for hours on end though i still ended up kind of doing that because well um we're, we're, we're crafting stuff and getting situated i just unloaded some of the stuff so it's it's looking you know that's looking rather rather sparse but over here oh we have three new bio biomass things burner <laughs> over here along with the two that come with the lovely hub as you can see i have raised the hub raised the roof of the hub and it is sitting on top of foundations now there's a lot of pokey trees coming through here once we get the chainsaw we'll go through and uh remove all them just so it's nice and clean but i have been stacking mats in here too so we have a full little chest of plates we have a decent amount of rods and we have some wire check over here it's full of concrete check but here we got some screws then over here we've got absolutely nothing so that's pretty nice also in here you can see uh, with, i've been gathering a lot of biome um some leaves and woods and stuff like that so this is a runoff of that and this crystal was actually protruding from a rock over here near where i put those ramps speaking of ramps i went ahead and ramped down the side over here so now we have i don't like this i don't know what i'm gonna do we're gonna figure something out i don't like that poking through but we ramped down over here and I made it a little bit wider just in case something happens. You know, a zero death so far, right? Okay, good. I, oh, actually, I did get stuck in the arms of a constructor and I could not get out. So I actually had to hit the respawn button. It was like stuck right in here somewhere because I tried to jump over. I forgot again how to use a ladder, get over it. And I got stuck between the arms and I couldn't get out regardless of what I did. So um, this is all just quick. I said that last season, but this time I, I really mean it because what I want to do, I think what we're going to do is actually turn this whole lower platform area into our mining and smelting area and then build however tall we need to to cover the mining uh facilities uh to make our work level of um factorisms and stuff like that and maybe bring it over and do some transitions with that i think that's going to be a thing but also if you look at there's two chests we haven't looked inside of there's a reason for this because i was saving it for this exact moment in here you can see we have a multitude of different stack uh, different items this is actually everything we need except for one to unlock all the stuff of the next tier so let's go ahead and store all i'm going to go over here and we're just going to go ahead and take all look at that look at that just just transferring stuff like it's nothing it's part assembly look at this we have everything we have everything and this will give us the assembler which is great because then we can make the reinforced plates with it Copper sheets, as we saw last time, was for the for the lovely making pipes, which I can't wait for that. Rotors, you guys know that. Modular frame, you guys know that. And then smart plating, which sounds pretty smart to me, we to get some plates. So let's go ahead and do this bad boy right now. Bam, 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 and bam, 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 bam. Press the red button and look at it not go up. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Project parts heard. So we can do the rotor now, though, by hand if we want to. Iron rods and screws. Okay. I think I remember that taking something higher before, but then they changed that. Like, I think it used to take steel tubes, I believe. Um, pod is launched. No, it's not. We didn't see it leave, but... We have to wait for it to come in. So the next one we have the mats for already too, but we have to wait five minutes and 20 seconds right now before we can do it. So let's wait five minutes, 20 seconds and shoot that bad boy off as well. All right, welcome back. And it is time for obstacle clearing to be cleared on our list here. Check, press the button, done. Still no thing. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. 
To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. That's right. Inflate that thing. Nice. We have more spaces now. Now, uh, with this, we got the chainsaw. That's nice. And solid biofuel. Okay. They changed that, which we saw that last time. So the next one would be the resource sink pro bonus program and then logistics. Let's select you and it'll take two minutes. That's fine. Uh, we actually need to put a workshop down. I need to grab a couple mats here. Um, let's grab this, this this maybe that i don't know and then let's we already have yeah let's grab some rods i think that's all we need let's try this out let's go to production let's go down to equipment workshop that's great let's go over to this side let's hang out with the biomass with this thing um i'd rather have it actually let's put it behind actually it's gonna go away too whatever as soon as we make it it's gonna peace out i guess so what do we need for the chainsaw uh, we need the reinforced iron plates and we need some screws. We have both of those ready at our disposal. I'm glad I was prepared today. There's that. There's this. Let's head on back over here. Let's do this. Chainsaw. I don't give a chainsaw. There we go. We have a chainsaw now, folks. Peace out. All right. There goes that. Now let's go ahead and see what do we need for solid biofuel then? Solid biofuel takes biomass, right? It does. Okay, cool. Luckily, we have some already made. So how do we feed these logs into our... Hmm. Let's just stop the presses right quick and just try to make all this work. Should be popping power out here soon. Anytime now. Should... There we go. Tripped. There's that. And then this. Excellent. Excellent. So let's go ahead and set up some logs right quick. Uh, solid biofuel. That is a lot of solid biofuel. How much do we get a pop? We get four pop and it takes. Okay. It takes what is that? Eight. Yes. It takes eight to get four. Okay. That's not too. Oh, that's just right there in the middle. Burr. Um, that's great. So I guess we just need to make up some of this, but I just want, it's been a little while since I've like first put on the chainsaw. And I remember how cool it looks. And we'll be chopping up trees here in a minute, too. I'll be cleaning up the foundational areas, you know, doing the whole nine yards. Let's get... What I probably want to do this season, too, is we'll designate an area for, like, you know, forest clearing. Until we get out of the uh, biofuel needs in heavy, large amounts. Let's just get 100 right quick. Is stuff still running? Sounds like, or is that just the wind? It sounds like the miner is still going. There's no way. And this is the last one right here. All right. Oh, it's these. Okay, they just want some more fuel. All right, so let's go ahead and put you in the hole. Let's go ahead and switch you over. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's switch back out of this. Uh, can these floaty time over it? They can. So let's try this out. It's been a little bit. Uh, get rid of that. Let's switch back to you. Ah, oh, very nice. I missed that. <laughs> Look at that. No more foliage to our stuff. Can I hit you from here? No. Can I get rid of anything else around you? It doesn't look like I need to. So this one, we're not going to sit here and do the whole episode of me cutting down trees because I'm sure that would be as exciting as that sounds. We have other things I need to get accomplished. Like we have another thing to unlock. Let's go ahead and remove that from my bar because uh, it's it's stuff. And I'm not worried about stuff running right now. We'll get that going in a second. Um, let me just go ahead and do this. Uh, sort. Let's store all. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab all. And then let's get over here and do the next one. This is pretty nice. I have not had this pleasure of ease going on for quite some time since the last time we did this, which feels like so long ago. So this is the resource sink one. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. 
Okay, it, which is awesome. Into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fix it is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Nice. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. I will go awesome. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see something here. It's not in this in special. It is. Okay, so we just need to grab some cables and we can do this. Let's, I want to see what this looks like. One, two. Oh, we can't. We don't. We don't want to do that just yet because I have the exact amount of mats for the next one, which is this one for the conveyor belt mark two which is super duper important we have a few minutes for that so we're going to do while we wait for that to happen i'm going to clear out some more trees here get them get them knocked out so we can have our foundations looking lovely as usual and um we'll be right back okay welcome back and i have cleared out most of what i thought i saw that were was was plants and stuff like that but it's time it is time to finish this off so let's do this let's do that let's do it in order i need to grab some more concrete because i used a bunch of it good thing we have a bunch of concrete now in comparison to prior to this moment um let's throw th this one in that one in let's throw in the rods and let's throw in these bad boys and there we go time to press the button one last time for now milestone reached improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible to encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable Oops. variant. Oops, I forgot about that. All right, so we have unlocked all that stuff. Very nice. So we looking good except for one thing which takes rotors, isn't it? Isn't that why I didn't do it? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, rotors. Okay, cool. So that actually, that's not that bad to make anymore. Um, so that's not too bad. And then we need to do the space elevator to get into the next tier, which is fine. We won't worry about that right now. And the mats really aren't that bad to get it up and running. Um, but what I do want to check out really quickly is look at the awesome shop real quick. So let's grab some cables and, and screws. And cables right there. And let's go over here. Let's grab the awesome shop. What is it in line with? Is it got a, it's just it's just saying, hey, we can put you here. Now can we look at this and it tell us stuff? <gasps> oh, Okay. Oh, that looks so nice. I really like that. So those are windowed walls. Look at that beautifulness. There's gate doors. Okay, those are the doors we're used to. Same thing. There's the conveyor walls. Okay, okay. Attachments. Oh, here's the pipeline wall attachments. There's a wall mount for conveyors. It's separately done. And power poles. Very nice. Foundations. Curved foundation pack. Oh, my God. We could make like a, 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 a bowl or a half pipe or something now. Um, here is the corner ramps. Such a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. So gorgeous. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Foundations uh, of pillars. Oh, great, 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 great. <laughs> oh, the, oh, it's a double ramp. It is together. Oh, that is so nice. It's not just inverted ones. I thought it was just inverted ones. It's a double ramp. That's amazing. Foundation frames, foundation glass, walkways. There's the regular walkways we're used to seeing. Okay. Vehicles. <laughs> Fix it. Factory cart. That looks amazing. Organization. Railings. Okay, that's a fence. And there's the stairs that I hate. Um, oh, we have oh, those are the expensive statues to make, aren't they? Oh, a golden nut. Can't beat that one. Adequate pioneering, pretty good pioneering, and satisfactory pioneering. Equipment. Okay, we get beacons from this. And the coffee cup. That's what I'm talking about right there. And, and we can buy parts from this. Okay. And as we unlock more stuff, it looks like we're going to have more things available. Neat. I like this. Okay, so let's look at this build, too. Let's see what this looks like. It has a little awesome shop thing. Okay. Nice. And it has yeah, the little fix-it logo up there. Nice, nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, what does the actual sink look like? So 
We need to grab some more concrete. Let's grab the reinforced plates we have. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. And how well, this thing's actually kind of huge. So it's like a huge grinder. Oh, I like that at the top. Can we get up there? Is there a way to climb up this? Yes, there is. Great. Oh, we can get all the way up to the top. Neat. And we can configure this. Okay, so it, it sits there and just tells us what the deal is. That is super duper 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 cool looking. I like that. I can't wait to see when it's running. How many can... Do you have an attachment we can use? Oh. Oh. Oh, so when it's actually grinding stuff, it's going to start spinning. Oh, I want to grind stuff so bad. Uh, let's do this. I know. Oh, wait, it's got to be fixed parts. I, can't, I just want to see it grind. I know this is not going to yield anything. Wait, am I allowed to put in you? Anything? Oh, I can't afford it. I was like, what? What? Let's grab some rods right quick. I don't know if this will work. It probably won't. But it's worth a gander. In, in my mind. over here okay there we go I just want to see if it will if I just want to see it move bring it bring it we got bad squiggles going on too speaking of which we haven't seen squiggly today I'm sure he's busy with the family this is gonna start moving that's what I want to know Yes. Oh, wow. That takes a lot of power, doesn't it? Um, I did remove one thing. Uh, I didn't put biomass in this last one because it was balanced out pretty good. Let's grab this one. How are we doing on bio, uh, some biofuel? It's, it's going okay. Let's throw this bad boy in here. All right, it's working. Oh, that's super cool. And it's getting like, it's shaking and stuff like that. Oh, we're getting, oh, neat. So points until the next coupon. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, considering we're not doing anything but just shoving raw mats into it. I mean, that's, I didn't expect to get anything good from it. Oh, wow, that is so cool. I really like how they did this. And there's a purchases tab. Oh, neat, 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 neat. That is so neat. I want to know here this railing. I think I remember seeing that. It won't let me buy it because I'm out of. I don't have. I don't have coupons yet, but still. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very nice. Okay, so what we need to do is I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and take this all apart. Um, interesting. I just want to see this. We've seen it. So let me get everything back to normal and take care of this and get it lined back up. Um, actually, I might end up redoing this now. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and start walling in stuff and trying to raise the roof. Uh, it raise it up to above the height of that. Let's actually see right quick. I do have regular walls. Um, walls. This one here. Let's see what this does uh, without messing with their clearance. Let's just see here. Isn't it four or five? I forget which one it is. Uh, foundations. Let's see here. Let's try this one here. Does it work on this one? No. Okay, so it is up another one. Okay, cool. So if we were to go up that high here, we could cover the top. What clearance are you encroaching? Oh, it's on oh, the hub would have to move then. Yeah, which we would do anyway. But that covers up that bad boy right there. Hmm. That's going to be expensive, but it might be worth it. We'd have to ramp our way up for now. That's a lot of wasted space down here with the heights, too. Because I believe we can just do, like, three to go over. Of course, that's in the way. I just want to see. Just give me a chance to see. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, right here. Uh, no, no, no. 
Yeah, but on the other side, the other side. That's what we're gonna do. Let's go on the other side. Let's go over here. I just want to see. Oh, we can put it right here. Nice. Is it two or three? I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. Okay, so it's not that bad of a mess up on the stuffs for the smelters. But if we prep this correctly, we can already be ahead of the game and um, get all these guys set up to where we are ready to roll with a nice clean up top area and start planning out maybe some temp some storage for the moment. And then that will help kind of influence how our design is going to go. Do I still have the miner on me? I don't. Let me toy around with this a little bit. We'll see what I can get worked out and we will come back. Okay, welcome back, and uh, this, I didn't realize there's some, yeah, you know, Caterium here. -like element, primarily in power and electronics. Nice! A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Excellent, we need to get a MAM up soon, ma'am. Um, so I've filled this in, and it actually might work out. It might work out, we might all make it look like Butamus in a certain way. Oh, there's Squiggly over there, bye Squiggly! Um, we'll probably end up throwing up some walls and stuff just to kind of on the edges to make it look like it's supported. We'll get into some more beautiful cessations of stuff here, um, in the near future. But for now, we're just trying to get it kind of blocked out to see what we've got uh, available here. And I think it'll be really cool to where it comes up below down here is to have like make an entrance way in. I think that would look really nice too. Uh, but just testing things to see, look how the lods work. It's awesome magic before your very eyes that's very satisfactory uh let's remove you any survival games and all that would be peace outed but this is not that type of game this is an amazing game the survival games are amazing too but i'm just saying um so we need to get a way to get up here i kind of thinking like right here is where we could do that maybe we could even place some walls up i know it's gonna waste some space but we're going for some aesthetics here right now we can do the actually let's let's put the other one on the bottom Let's try like this just to have some sort of thing happening here let's make it odd width maybe maybe like here too and then maybe do this here right right okay and then maybe let's just throw one of these in for now we can code it later do we have enough room here to bring it up again maybe no that looks like butt maybe we can go up another one then turn let's try that out for now we'll just use the foundations to kind of get us there does this go up high enough maybe i think it does for our current needs and then we can have another set of ramps go up higher so Let's remove these guys. Again, this is all just trying to get our feet off on the, on the ground. You know, off the ground. We're going to get, we'll be learning to fly. But it ain't got wings. We'll have a jetpack soon enough. Watch. All right, let's get this one here. And that actually kind of bridges over all right. Nash bridges? No. Um, right here. We'll probably end up coming up further later on. Okay, we got stuck in somewhere. Oh, look at that. We, we made this correctly because now we can get back in. Um, this looks like crap right now. Um, like I said, once this leaves experimental, there is an elevator mod I really want to toy around with too. So that'll be a thing. All right, so if I go ahead and close this in. Close this in for now. And I say that, I'll be saying that a lot, but I mean it. Because we're going to end up doing some more things in the future here with this. Let's just have that for now. And then off the side of you, let's put a ramp right in the middle. Or off the, uh, off the side of these guys. Do I have my chainsaw on me? I don't have a chainsaw. Let's do this. And then do this. And then do this. And then once we get ramp corners and stuff like that, we'll put, oh, did you see how that was a different color? And this will give us access up to here. For the moment, it's not that efficient, but you got to start off somewhere, right?
to get down here. And I kind of like how this looks. It's not going to keep any, uh, you know, deadly gases in here at all. It looks like it'll be just plenty enough room. Um, how are we looking on more concrete? I know we're good on plates right now, but let's see the concrete situation. That's really not that bad. Um, and we have the new... We have the new uh, conveyors, so we can actually maximize the efficiency of our concrete production up there, too. Which I'll probably jump on that just to get things going so we can build some more stuff. Um, that's really nice, actually. I'm pretty excited. And then we can have, like, an entranceway here. Maybe just for now. Let's go ahead and pop this guy in here for the moment. And then maybe... Maybe we can do the same thing on here. Give it this supported look. Let me actually put it there on top of that one. It did. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. It's not going to be perfect. I'm going to say that right now, but it's something. Not sure exactly what, but it's something. And then maybe do these guys. Okay, we have to do the rows here. We're going to snap to the bottoms. And then sort of this guy here. And again, this is just getting some ideas, fleshing out some stuff. Maybe here we can do the switcheroonie. And then do a row across the front. And then this one across the front, maybe? Nope, that's backwards. That's backwards. There's that. Let's go ahead and go here. And then remove these guys for now. I guess we could put one up there, too. Hmm. I need to play around with this a little bit, I think. I'm liking the idea how it's just kind of coming out right now, but it, we need to do we need to work on some things. Uh, and this is even side, so we can't do any offsets yet. Yeah, let me toy around with this stuff a little bit. We'll get something worked out. I'll probably move the hub upstairs, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I think I got something worked out. Other than having the hub moved up here, which I do like how it feels. The elevation feels nice, and I feel like we can get up to the top of the sides pretty well. Oh, look. Look at that, our first slug. Hello. How you doing? We're going to take you. We need to throw you in our ma'am, ma'am. Wait, do I have room for it? I do. I barely have room for it. Very nice. This what? semi slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into fix it technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. So, right here, I did this. I made an entranceway, and this goes down in here. I left that because it was pretty. Um, anyway, up to here, and I redid the ideas I had for this. So, I went in. It takes a minute to get up and down, but hey, um, I didn't fill in stuff like that because I look forward to using some of the other stuff to kind of make it look shiny. Um, but for now, that's functional, and it lets us get down into here. And I'm pretty happy with that so far. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just venture out to say that this looks pretty good for what we've done. Um, I did coat the exterior entrances on both sides to match. So if we're here, you can see this is set up with the, what we did before. I need to finish that one. We'll do that. We'll do that. I won't, won't, won't bore you with it because we've already seen something like that. And then over here, you really need the blade runners so I can jump higher, run faster looks smoother um, and then over here this one's actually pretty much there I might add some found let's just try that now um, that does not want to snap the same oh it's because of the thing below it there it is there it is right there there we go yeah that helped clear that up a little bit that looks all right so we have the entrances there and this is the side area we'll figure out what we're gonna do over there later I wonder if this does anything can we even saw you maybe no, you just you just foliage that hangs out with us. So there's that. Uh, one last thing I really want to do is actually what we just we got told about is the ma'am. Um, we need to grab um, some cables. Let's drop off some of this other excess stuff I've got too. Um, we'll at least put the biofuel away for now. Solid biofuel, and we'll put these away. And then this will give me room for. Where does I put the cables in there? Maybe cables. Is that are they in there? Yeah, they are in there. All right, so let's go upstairs and put the uh, the ma'am up here, because I think that all changed as well. Let's go over here. All right, let's grab the ma'am. What am I missing? Uh, I don't have. Okay, wire. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. I'm excited. That's important. 
Let's just jump down and get hurt. All right, and you were in there? No, nope, that was the next one. The one right here. This was the next one I was talking about. All right, there's that. And I'm surprised these three are running. I guess we're backed up on everything on the on probably the uh, iron side of stuff. I'm sure the copper and the concrete is still going, which is fine for right now. All right, so let's grab this. Let's go to the ma'am. Let's put it over here. Oh, that looks so cool. Where's the exit out of this? Right here? Okay. Um, let's just put it to where it's lined up with this for now. It is looking different here. Huh. Power slugs. Yes, it is different. Research time, three seconds. Okay. The analysis of the green power slug is complete. Please choose a new node in a tree to begin new analysis. New recipe unlocked. Okay. So, oh, and what is this? New research available in the MAM. Oh, so actually to allow for overclocking and then to make slug scanning. Oh, that adds it to our scanner. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I have the stuff for this right now. Let's just try this out. And that's going to push it through there. I really like the fact they did that. I like this. This is a little bit more. This looks, is more fun to me. I don't know if you guys like it or not. Look at this. Yeah, I like that. That's super cool. Can we have multiple ones of these and do research? Uh, do we have enough stuff for another ma'am? We do. Let's see right quick. Can we... No, it's on the same timer. So it only you can only have one going at a time. That makes sense. I'm not mad at that. That makes sense. I'm sure some people are like, I don't like that. That's fine. You, you don't have to like it either. But I, I do. Enjoy, you don't have to like it. I like it. That's pretty cool. Um, so we have that in. That's up. And that is really neat. So to get our... Just to see your space elevator needs. Um, so we just need those mats. And what I'm thinking about is maybe we carry this out and then maybe do, uh, oh, we like actually have a decent sized area. And then over these, like, kind of like planes is planes ish areas, maybe do. Oh, there's another slug up there. Hello, Mr. Slug maybe uh have it up here or something like that um and having enough room for basements is important to me because i'd love to bring the trains in when we get to the trains and have them like like below the platforms i think that would look kind of cool getting like in and out of tunnels and stuff i wonder what kind of opening cool openings we could do for trains too if like if there's any gates or anything that they're planning on doing i'm really happy they added these extra parts to these extra building pieces um, we were, we're fulfilling our needs with that with mods and stuff, which I am appreciative of the mods. Don't get me wrong, but it's kind of, it's awesome that they're putting it in the game. That brings hope for more pieces in the future. And we got another green power slug. That's what I'm talking about right there. And that's uranium. Is that yet radiation levels? Okay. Interesting. I wonder if I could gather that and then put it in a box real quickly or something just to get it away from stuff. Oh, those explanation points for that. Oh, there's another slug up there. Wow, we are surrounded by slugs. That's nice. Nice. We'll get that. We'll, we'll work on that another time. We, we Right now, we're just trying to get set up. I don't know. I think it looks okay. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below because, you know, that really feels good when you guys let me know what you're thinking. I appreciate the positivity and all the, the feedback. Um, we are just, again, starting again. Um, so, like, and having taken a break, which is very, I think it was very much needed. More of a break than what we did with the last season um, between stuff. It just feels like so much has happened since the last time we played. Um, so I, I'm excited. I'm excited. And let's do this one the same way as the back side. That one goes there. This one goes here. This one goes there. There. And there. Then we add in the, the, these guys. Kind of match up both sides. We have some floaty timing going on, but that looks pretty good. So, what I need to do, I'm probably going to do it off camera, just to be honest. Um, I'm going to redo our output of concrete, and it should double it um, with the new stuff we've got in, and maybe get some other mats pre made and stuff like that. Get ready for the space elevator. I'll probably end up bringing this out to, I'd like to use some of the pillar stuff to kind of have an open back on this. I think it would look kind of nifty. But that is the time we've got for today, folks. I am sorry, I'm sorry, but we've got a lot of stuff done. 
Um, I like it. I'm liking that we're already doing moves into getting like a whole uh, vertical verticality set up for our build. So looking forward to see what we can do and yeah so um well uh let me know in the comments what you're thinking don't forget if you like the video to slam the like button and if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe as well and as always thank you so very much and you all have a good night